Hello everyone, I'm Akshit Patel. So this is going to be a tutorial on how to use native iPhone transitions with Titanium from Accelerator. So Titanium API comes with native iPhone animations for its applications. So let's head over to the documentation at Accelerator Developer Center and let's go to the API reference guide and there you might find titanium.ui.iPhone so there it has uh, specific animation styles and two to be specific the first one is titanium.ui.iPhone that animation style and the second one is titanium.ui.iPhone row animation style this is what you might use for table view rows but the one which we are going to use for our tutorial is going to be the anim animation style. So let's click that. Okay, so it provides us with four types of animation. Curl down, curl up, flip from left, and flip from right. So that's what we are going to make. So let's quit this. And let's begin by creating a new project. So it's going to be a mobile project. Let's give it a name transition app. Give it an app ID. Uh, choose the destination to save your project. Give it a personal or company URL. And choose the SDK version. I'm going to use 1.2.0 because of a few technical difficulties but you might use the latest SDK version if you don't have any problems as the results are going to be the same for both the SDKs so let's create our project okay so there's our project folder let's click test and package and let's open up our project folder in a text editor I'm going to use text make in my case but you can use anything you like so let's open up app.js in the resources folder. So this is what contains the code, the default code for the app which is created when we create a project. So we don't need this code so let's select all and leave. So let's begin by creating our tab group. So let's call it tab group. So it's going to be titanium.ui create tab group. We don't need to pass in any arguments as we don't need any. So let's run a function or a method that opens up the tab group after the splash screen. Okay. So we call it by the tab group and the open method. Now you might pass in transitions if you like, but since we are going to use transitions for Windows, we won't do that in our case for now. So let's create our window. Let's call it home window, and it's going to be titanium.ui that create window. Okay. So let's give it a title of transitions. Let's give them background color of white. And let's pass in the URL for the file that will hold the code for our window. And let's call it transitions.js. Okay. So copy the name and let's create a new file transitions.js in our resources folder. We might leave it blank for now. Okay, so there's our window. Now let's create the tab to hold the window. So let's call it home tab and it's going to be titanium.ui.create tab. Okay, and this is a semicolon, and let's pass in several arguments. The first one is going to be title, let's call animations, 
let's give it an icon of ks underscore nav underscore views dot png so this is one of one of the two icons provided by Absolutor in the default project and let's pass in the window which in our case is home window uh, okay home window and let's add our home window let's add our home tab to the tab group sorry so tab group dot add tab and the tab is going to be home tab so let's save that and go to titanium and let's launch our application so it's good that we don't have any errors the first time that you run a project it takes a while to load because it's compiling the project for the first time with Xcode so it takes a while to load up and it might take longer in my computer because it has low configurations sorry for that okay so there's our application okay so there's our icon for the tab there's the title for our tab there's our window there's a navigation bar so we are all set so let's begin coding for our window so let's quit this and go to textmate and let's code our window in transitions.js so we need to get the hold of the current window which we are in through variable so variable to misspell it to refer to the current window so this is the variable which we'll use to refer to the current window which we are in so let's call it bin so remember it's an object and not in method so it doesn't receive any parentheses current window okay so the idea behind this project is that we are going to use two windows the window bin which we are currently in controls has all the controls in our case the buttons and when you click a button it opens up the next window so we need to create another window so the window that is open through buttons let's call it win2 or you might give it uh, any name you want so create window and let's pass in a background color um, okay so let's give it a color of of blue so there's the hex code for a blue window so as you might notice we don't want to open up our window now because that's what the other buttons are going to do so we need to create the six button uh, actually five buttons five buttons for the for our transition so the first one is going to be flip from right button so let's call it flip right and it's going to be a button so titanium that UI that create button okay so and it's a semicolon and let's get a title so it's flip from right now uh, we need to pass in the height width and its top margin so height is going to be 37 pixels the width is going to be 132 pixels and we want the top margin to be 45 pixels so that's our button so let's add the button to our window flip right so all we are going to do now is copy the code over here 
okay and we are going to paste it five times so there's the first time so we want to flip from left button so this is going to flip the window from left let's call it flip from left and the dimensions are going to be the same okay so there's our two buttons so let's paste it once more now this is going to be a curl up animation so it's a curl up button let's call it curl up and the animation is going to be curl up and pass in the name of the button okay we might want to copy this and let's paste it once again for the curl down button so this handles the curl down transition so that's curl down okay and the final one is not complete absolutely a transition it's a type of view it's known as a modal view because it prompts the user to do something in order to move on with our application but it still has a kind of animation so we are just going to include that so it's model win just a short form for model window let's call it model view model view window and add it to our window model win so there it is but we might not notice all of them because we got the top margin wrong for each and every one okay so we want our first button to be 45 pixels and the second one to be exactly 45 pixels away from the previous one so we go on adding 45 pixels to all of those so 135 plus 45 is equal to 180 and the final one's going to be 225 pixels okay so let's save that and go to titanium and launch our project so we don't have any errors so that's good and there's the output okay so the compile done okay so here's our application huh can't find the variable curl down let's see line 45 okay so there's line 45 oh we forgot to rename the button so you can make mistakes like that and apologize for that one so let's relaunch our project okay so here's our application perfect now we have all our five buttons now actually we might want to shorten the text for our button for the final button we can do that as we get done with this okay so there are five buttons so as you might notice the buttons don't do anything right now because we need to add event listeners to all of all the five buttons for an event so let's close this and let's go back okay so we wanted to shorten the name okay so model window so that's to do for that so here are our buttons so let's separate uh, there might be a better way okay let's see buttons And copy that let's call it add buttons so those are our buttons now we need to add our event listeners to those so let's separate that part as well event listeners for the buttons okay and let's copy that okay so let's begin uh, the first one which we would be like to begin with is flip right right okay 
see let's copy the name dot add event listener and we would like to listen for the click event and we would like to run a function as a callback okay so all we want to do over here is to open up our second window win2 so let's do that win2 dot open now we fasten the argument transition so this is what is responsible for the animation so it's going to be titanium or ti dot ui dot iphone since this is a native iphone animation it's an animation style and the animation styles are written in all caps so flip from right so and it's the semicolon so this is what opens up our window within transition but we need to close the window after the window is open so let's create a button and let's call it titanium that UI that create button okay so actually there's a better way to do it so let's just delete that okay we might want to do it over here so let's call a variable button so let's that's titanium that UI that create button let's give the title of close me and we want to add the button to win2 which is going to be open after the transition so button now we would like to add an events listener to this button as well so add event listener listening for the click event and the function so all we want to do with this button is to close our window that's all so all we are doing here is just opening up the window 2 now window 2 already has the close me button so as soon as we click the button we return back to the main window so copy this and paste it once more so that's for flip left now the only change over here is from flip from left to flip from right pretty easy huh so let's paste that once again and this is going to be a curl up so the slight difference is curl up that's it let's copy that and paste that once again now it's the curl down button and it's down okay so the final one is modal window or modal bin if I'm not wrong. yeah it's modal bin now the thing that we would like to do over here is instead of in transition we would like to pass in the argument modal and it receives a boolean whether it's in we want it to be a modal view controller or normal so we want it to be so modal true so let's save that and go back to titanium and let's click launch so there it is yep there's our application okay so let's click flip from right so there's our animation and let's click close me flip from left again close me this as you might notice the buttons covering up the whole window and that's not what we want so let's just make a quick change in our code um, where we are declared the button yeah there it is we want it to have the same height as the other buttons so height is that and width it's 132 pixels so that should do it we don't need to pass in the top margin because if we don't provide any coordinates it 
centers it on the window and that's what we want to do so let's save that and launch once again let's wait okay so the compile is done okay so let's click flip from right nice so there's a background color and our button so let's click close me and it closes that one so flip from left so there what there's the left flip from left animation the curl up animation and the curl down animation and there's our modal window so as you might notice the modal window comes with a title bar so so let's close this so that's her final application hope that helps you with the transitions with titanium api thank you for listening thanks